This is Karen Brockney for Alibony.com. In this lesson we'll crop and resize this photo for printing. I prefer to crop, resize, and save my images to specific print sizes for the best printing results. It all has to do with aspect ratios, and this diagram may help explain why. Aspect ratio is the ratio of width to height for any image, and it determines the shape of the image. When you take a photo, your camera produces images that have a defined aspect ratio, no matter how many pixels are in the image. For example, one of my cameras produces images with a standard aspect ratio of 4 to 3, and another produces images with an aspect ratio of 6 to 4. The common photo sizes of 6 by 4, 7 by 5, and 10 by 8 represent different aspect ratios. When you change the aspect ratio of an image, you change the shape of the image. Depending how closely you frame the photo in the camera when you took the shot, you may cut off important parts of the photos at the edges when you print it. Let's take a look at one photo and show what different aspect ratios do when printing. This is the photo of the boat that we looked at earlier. If I were going to print this photo as a 6x4 print, this shaded area represents the area that would be included in the print, and notice that a bottom part of the photo is completely left out of the print. If I were to do it at a 7x5 print, this bottom part of the photo would be left out and the shaded area would be included in the print. If I were printing at 10 by 8, part of the photo on the left hand side of this shaded area would be missing. Let's put these all together so you can see how these different photo sizes do not correspond to the size of the original photo at all. Here's a photography tip for you. If you know you are going to want prints at several sizes, make sure you leave enough space around the edges for cropping when you take the photo. Now let's crop and resize our original photo that's at the 4 by 3 ratio. From the File menu, choose Duplicate, and in the dialog box, I will call this file Boats 6 by 4. I like to include the dimensions in my file name as a reminder for when I print the file and click OK. Now press Control plus zero on the PC or Command plus zero on the Mac to fit the image in the screen and we are going to now crop this image. From the toolbox select the Crop tool. On the Options bar from the Aspect Ratio drop-down, choose 4 by 6 and notice that Photoshop Elements instantly puts the dimensions in the correct width and height box. For resolution, enter 300 pixels per inch. For overlay, choose Rule of Thirds. Now click and drag in the photo until you have a crop box that fits across the whole width of the photo. The grid lines in the crop box will help when you are resizing and cropping the photo. I want to resize this photo to get rid of a lot of this water down at the bottom of the photo. I'm going to press and drag one of the diagonal corners until the red boat is positioned roughly at the intersection of one of these lines. I'm also going to press and drag on the crop box and move it down so that the top line falls right at the horizon line and then press enter or click the green check box. Now press control zero on the PC or command zero on the Mac to fill the screen. Notice how I now have a nicely composed photo that doesn't have too much water at the bottom and the eye is drawn from the red boat along a diagonal to the restaurant in the distance. Let's save this now. From the file menu, choose Save As. In the Save As dialog box, 
choose the format of JPEG and click Save. And then in the JPEG Options box, click OK. You can now repeat the same steps with each print aspect you want. You should end up with a different final file for each print size that you want. Here's a final tip. If you know you're only going to print in one aspect ratio, for example 6 inches by 4 inches, you can crop and resize the photo before you make any edits to it. However, if you know you'll want to print the photo at different sizes, make all your edits first, then duplicate and resize the image for each print size after your edits are complete.